start talking. Field Trip by Shaylin. Crash. As I was riding my bike, I ran into a woman. She sat upright with no bruises or scrapes. She then gave me a pamphlet and with a thump and a thump, walked away. As I looked at the pamphlet, I saw the words free tour to Meadowbrook Mansion. As I was riding my bike, I could hear the wheels go vroom, vroom, vroom. When I got to the mansion, I stopped with a screech when I saw the pale faces wave, wave at me. They were white as snow. Then there was that lady. I wanted to turn around and leave, but I trudged on. She said her name was Matilda, but as she touched my back to go in, I could feel the coldness in her hand, and I could smell the smell of death covered up with the smell of sweet candy apples. But somehow I knew this wasn't ordinary. As we walked to each room, she asked if I liked it here, if I can imagine living here. I wanted to say no. But it was like she loved this house so much, so I said yes. By the time this was almost over, I was scared to death. I was going to tell her I was going to leave, that I liked the tour very much. But when I talked, no sound came out. All of a sudden, without thinking, I ran. When I turned around, I saw Matilde wasn't a woman. The kids weren't kids. They were flying white faces that can be mistaken as well so easily. So I ran faster. And when I turned around again, they were gone. I looked around in panic. But a woman stepped out of a portrait, hugging me tight, saying, Oh, darling, I'm so sorry. We can be happy forever. I realized what was going on. This trip was a trap. I could stay with Matilda. But I didn't want to. I tried to get out of that tight hug. But she only squeezed me tighter. So I bit her. She screamed. And I tried to run, but my legs would not carry me. I wanted to yell and scream, but no sound came out. She turned so white, so tall. Her fingers formed longer. And then she grasped me, saying, Bad, bad girl. Then put me in a really high portrait of a boy and a girl. It was dark in there, and I could hear voices. Poor girl. She'll never get out. Sad, sad girl. Who is that, I asked. Us. 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 I asked who was us. We are the souls who are left behind. So you will be one of us. No! I have to get out of here. I kicked and screamed and hit. Then I broke the portrait I was locked in. And I screamed, and I twisted my leg, but there was the door. I saw the door and crawled to it, but I was screaming in horror every time I moved my leg. It 
hurt. Matilda heard me, and I crawled faster and faster as she was doing the same. I was too short for the doorknob. She was about to grab my leg when some force jumped her. I didn't have much time, knowing I would damage my leg. I stood and opened the door. <sighs> I then collapsed, crawling out the door. I felt someone jerk my leg. You are not leaving. Yes, I am. And I crawled out the door. I saw the souls. And I looked back and I waved. Later that day, I found out I would have to be in a wheelchair. And I wheeled back to the mansion and saw rubble and construction. What happened? I asked a construction worker. It collapsed.